Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey Aim here, coach of the Bronze Bear Ticks with my week 12 team preparation analysis, whatever you want to call it, video for the UCL. This time I'm taking on PK Sparks, coach of the Philadelphia for Alligators. And I actually built this team, well, I built it by myself and Chipek was also there in the call and he helped me, uh, gave me a few. <laughs> Chipek tried to make me use uh, dual screens of Uniclist the entire time, but he did look over the team and helped me with a few things. So big shouts to him. Anyway. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Kabu who built my team for the actual game. But PK's team is really interesting because he doesn't have a Mega, right? But he does have a few Pokemon that are extremely threatening to my team, especially because I have like three Dragons and I have Manaphy. He has Raikou, Togekiss, Breloom, and Feraligator. Now those are probably the biggest threats. Scrafty is definitely one of them. Smeargle is up there because he could do any hazards. Uh, Bronzong is alright. I think it's more setup fodder than anything for me, but we'll see. Um, but definitely that Raikou is something that I'm a little bit worried about. Togekiss can definitely be annoying, especially if it's Paraflinch. We also am, we all saw Envy, uh, how he played in the GBA with that. <laughs> nah, jokes aside, uh, I also want to say that if you guys want to pick up the original Drop a Draco hoodie or shirt, they're only available for two more days. You guys keep bringing them back, which is why I keep telling you about them. You just keep emailing them. But if you guys want to pick them up, link is down below. It's actually very cold outside right now, and I absolutely love it. But in any case, let's go over the team. So I took a more off uh, offensive approach to this week. I wanted to bring all my dragons. Basically, um, it was the day before I had to play PK. Uh, I was supposed to build uh, with Tony, but he's been really busy. He's, you know, he's becoming a doctor. So that man's becoming an MD. So he, uh, he doesn't have uh, much time or too much time. So uh, I built this team in a call with my friends and... Uh, yeah, anyway, I really wanted to take a more offensive approach versus him, and PK has some weird speed to it, right? He has Raikou, which is a 361, and then Perugly, which is up there too, and then from there, it just drops off. Arcanine becomes his fastest Pokemon at 317 max, so I really wanted to bring uh, more offensive Pokemon this week. That's why I'm bringing Choice Bandit, Guard Chomp, Strong Jaw, with uh, Stone Edge, Earthquake, Dual Chop, and Outrage. Now, Choice Bandit, Adamant, Dual Chop, knocks out Focus, uh, Focus Sash Breloom, knocks out Focus Sash Smeargle, 100%. Um, at the same time, Stone Edge does a hell of a lot to Togekiss. It does about 88% min, I think, to max HP Togekiss, something around there. So it kills 100% with Stealth Rock, and his Earthquake switch-ins, uh, Arcanine, Feraligatr, even my Lodic, physically defensive, my Lodic is 2 KO'd by Choice Band and Earthquake. Um, Whereas uh, Scrafty is also 2 KO'd, Roselia is smacked by it, and then Outrage can also 2 KO a lot. Actually, if he's running Spadef, Bronzong, with Stealth Rock up, if it doesn't have leftovers, or if I like, get rid of its leftovers, if I knock it off with my um, Lucky, as you guys will see later, uh, I can actually 2 KO his, if it is Spadef Bronzong, which is something I could see him bringing, considering I have Kieran Black, and that takes Earth Powers better. Obviously, uh, Levitate, I don't care about that because of Terra Volt, but... Yeah, Choice Bandit out, um, Garchomp can potentially 2 KO everything, I have Stone Edge for Togekiss, and um, that's his only fairy, so once I get rid of that, I can potentially just outrage everything. So we have max attack, enough speed to outspeed Adamant Arcanine, I think that if he runs Jolly Arcanine versus me, one, that's never faster than Manaphy, if I run enough speed on it. And two, um, it's just weak, it's very, very weak, there's a lot, there's differences in the damage output, uh, when it's Jolly versus, um when it's Jolly versus Adamant. Sorry, I was just checking something real quick. But yeah, I just have, uh, Spadef is also there, that way I can better take on, maybe like an HP Ice from Bronzong, or um, Air Slashes from Togekiss, uh, Defensive Togekiss anyway, I think it's not even, I think it's only a 3 KO with that Spadef. That's probably normal damage anyway. But just Bandit Garchomp, Adamant, Choice Bandit Garchomp, we're just, I'm unleashing all my dragons on him, as you can see, there are three dragons on this team, and I'm unleashing them all versus him. I decided to just go a lot more offensive because when you have Pokemon like Scrafty, you have Pokemon like Togekiss, um, those are two Pokemon in particular that can set up on fatter teams. So if I brought bulky Pokemon like, well maybe not Garbodor, Garbodor could run clear smog, um, but every single time I tried to fit something like Garbodor, I actually tried to fit Pyro. Pyro was the, fro uh, the first Pokemon on this team that I had. It just uh, it didn't work out, man. So not this week, not this week for Pyro, but maybe another week. Maybe. We'll see. But yeah, um, when you have Pokemon like Scrafting and Togekiss, which can take full advantage of bulkier mods and just set up either with bulk up Dragon Dancers or Nasty Plot Heal Bells, I definitely didn't want to give him that much of an advantage. So next up, we have the Captain of the Bronze Baratex Manaphy. Whoops, I just smacked my mic. We have the Captain of the Bronze Baratex Manaphy. Now, 
I'm bringing this thing with Dazzling Gleam because a setup Scrafty is very, very threatening. I don't really have too much to revenge kill it just because Scrafty is so bulky. However, Modest Dazzling Gleam just knocks it out straight out. And if it is special defensive, um, it can knock it out with Scald. So, we're running Sub Tail Glow. And what this allows me to do is set up on Bronzong because Bronzong Earthquake or Gyro Bar or anything doesn't break my sub. Um, and whereas my Lodic Skull, Dragon Tail, or Ice Beam don't break my sub either. If he is running Haze, that's fine. I can still sub Tail Glow up because Tail Glow has so much HP and same thing with sub. And he's going to be taking a lot to break my sub. And I actually have another Pokemon on the team that goes well with this. And I'll show you guys later. But uh, we're modest max special attack. We're faster again than Adam and Arcanine. Um, I don't think... It's worth going faster than Jolly again, so weak. And the power that this gives us, uh, Skull just hits everything. It could be a 3k on Raikou depending on, um, on his HP investment. And Subtail Glow just allows me to set up on status. If Arcanine comes in, I can set up a sub on that. And uh, as he's more than likely to switch out to one of his water types or maybe Roselia. Um, or even his own Gator or Raikou. And potentially burn something with Skull. So, uh, the... Main, you know, just of this is obviously I miss out on energy ball, which hits for alligator, which is something I was a little bit threatened by or scared of. But I really want dazzling gleam because dragon dance scrafty or bulk up scrafty could definitely be threats. Both of them can be huge threats to the team. So I definitely needed dazzling gleam on this Pokemon. And next up we have my Mega Aggron. Now this week we were running just Max Bedef. It lets me better take on Togekiss. It lets me phase out. Uh, Raikou, I can still phase out for Alligator as well with Roar, and this just better allows me to take on mainly Raikou and Togekiss, so Heavy Slam hits that Togekiss, we have Stealth Rock, uh, Roar is just because if it's sub combine Raikou, or if it try or Scrafty comes in and tries to Dragon Dance up, or anything like that, or if for Alligator tries to Dragon Dance up, I just phase it out with Roar, it takes a little bit of Stealth Rock damage when it comes back in, basically I don't want this Pokemon to be set up fodder for anything at all. And I also give it Fire Punch because uh, this could be an immediate switch in to Bronzong if Bronzong is running something like Toxic. I don't want uh, any of my other Pokemon being Toxic. Obviously, I said Manaphy can set up on Bronzong, yes, but that's only when Manaphy gets a free switch. So, Fire Punch allows me to hit that, allows me to hit Breloom, uh, I hit Trevenant as well, though Trevenant isn't too important. Um, because Trevenant could obviously burn me, but it's just Stealth Rock and phasing out. That's mainly what I want to do with this Aggron, uh, which is why I actually brought it over Rhydon. I was thinking about bringing Curse Rhydon, because if I get rid of his water types and Breloom, um, it kind of just wins. But obviously he has two water types and Breloom, so that's going to be a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Uh, because Raikou would have to run HP Ice in this game. I'm pretty... I'm 100% sure that he's running HP Ice because I have Garchomp and Flygon and Tangrowth. So you would have to run HP Ice in this game. Whereas HP Grass would only hit uh, Rhydon for four times effective damage. But yeah, we have uh, Roar, Mega Aggron, just set up Stealth Rock and pretty much just phase his team out. And again, Max Bidoff just so I can take on Pokemon like Raikou better. Next up, we have Lucky. Uh, pretty much the only d defensive Pokemon. I mean, I guess Mega Aggron counts, but like it doesn't even try. It just has 230 base special, uh, like defense for no reason. But. Uh, the bullet, man. Next up, we have uh, Lucky, my Rocky Helmet, Tangrowth with Energy Ball, Knock Off, Sludge Bomb, and Leech Seek. Now, Energy Ball is there over Giga Drain and the Rocky Helmet because with my HP investment and defense investment, plus two, Adamant, Life Force, Sheer Force, Boosted, Ice Punch from Fralligator does 99% max. Max. It cannot knock me out. It can't knock me out from full. I also apologize if you hear like a little cold. I definitely am getting one because it's getting cold. I love it. I still love it. Anyway, not the cold part, but the cold. Yeah, you got what I mean. <laughs> Energy Ball knocks out for Alligator 100% after Rocky Helmet damage. 100%. If for Alligator takes the Rocky Helmet damage, basically if for Alligator touches me, I knock it out. And if it's bulky for Alligator, it has to hit me twice to knock me out anyway. So uh, let's say it's like max HP for Alligator. Uh, Energy Ball is stronger than Giga Drain, if you guys didn't know. It's like base 90 power. Energy Ball is really strong. So, if he hits me with Ice Punch, takes a Rocky Helmet, I knock him out with Energy Ball. If he's a bulkier for Alligator, he hits me with Ice Punch, I hit him with Energy Ball, he hits me with another Ice Punch, and he dies. So, basically, Tangrowth just checks Gator. It also checks um, some forms of Breloom and can also maybe knock off Raikou, depending on it, and also knock off Scrafty. Uh, I put Sludge Bomb there just because it hits Togekiss and Breloom a lot harder. As well as neutrally, it does more to Arcanine, obviously, than potentially HP Ice would. So, Sludge Bomb is also there because it's kind of like Scald. So, if I get it off on Arcanine, I do have that 30% chance to 
uh, poison it. And again, that's why I have 28 special attack. That way I 100% knock out Gator with the energy ball after um, Rocky Helmet hit. That's only if it's uh, like 4 HP Gator. But if it runs more, it needs to... Either way, it's going to have to take two hits to knock me out if it's boosted. So it's going to be... It's going to go down to uh, the... The Rocky Helmet damage, no matter what. And then we have Leech Seed, because after I knock off some items, Tango really forces switches, whether it be on Arcanine or Togekiss. And if I Leech Seed it, that allows Aggron to better take on Togekiss. That allows Garchomp to better come in on Arcanine. Though I will be really careful with Arcanine, because Arcanine can easily run a physically defensive set with Will-O-Wisp, and I don't want Garchomp being burnt, nor do I want Manaphy being burnt. Uh, though Manaphy wouldn't care as much, I want the sub, obviously, sub, um, sub Tail Glow to go off sorry if you hear me like sniffle a little bit right there but um yeah knockoff is great for bronze on just getting rid of its item allowing choice bandit guard shot to two it ko it and again getting rid of raikou's item getting rid of tokus item anything on the team really it also allows me to hit trevenant with knockoff plus uh, sludge bomb getting rid of its berry um so i can't harvest it if i get rid of it but if it doesn't hasn't done it already um Next up, we have Fizz, the Choice Scarf Flygon. Just enough speed to outspeed, plus two Scrafty. Uh, with Earthquake, U-Turn, Defog, and Outrage. I was debating giving this thing an attack to hit Togekiss, but honestly, the rest of the team doesn't allow Togekiss free switches anyway. I have Knock Off, I have Heavy Slam, I have Sludge Bomb, I have Scalds, I have Stone Edge. So, I really wanted Choice Scarf Flygon because Raikou, again, is definitely a threat. And with Choice Scarf Flygon, I just beat it. So, I have Earthquake. Obviously, you turn gain some momentum. Um, the thing about Flygon is it also forces in Pokemon like Bronzong. So, what Flygon can do with you turn is allow Manaphy to come in and just set up all over Bronzong. Allow Manaphy to come in on my Lodic and just set up. Even if it's like running HP, whatever, my Lodic, it's going to do like 30% to Manaphy anyway if it's like Hidden Power, Electric, or Grass. But, um... Yeah, we also, we also have Defug because Roselia, because Smeargle, because Bronzong can all set up hazards. Uh, Smeargle can do anything. It can set up Sticky Web, Stealth Rock, Spikes, Toxic Spikes. Uh, same thing with Roselia, it spikes and Toxic Spikes. So I definitely wanted to bring Defog this week just because that could be an issue to my team, especially because I'm more offensive of a team. Toxic Spikes, Stealth Rock, Sticky Web especially, just all threaten me. So Flygon is a Pokemon that's immune to all those hazards because of Levitate and obviously can get rid of them. Um... And just the rest in defense, I guess that just allows me to better take on, like, Arcanine's Extreme Speed. And, uh, obviously Outrage. If I get rid of Togekiss and Bronzong, Outrage can do some late-game sweeping, maybe. It's stronger than Earthquake, obviously, versus my Lodic. So, and Scrafty. And I definitely just want another check to, um, Scrafty. The thing about this team is it doesn't allow Scrafty to set up at all. Man, if he knocks it out with Dazzling Gleam, Garchomp's doing a hell of a lot with its attack. Uh, obviously Tangrowth, if it is bulk up Scrafty, then Manaphy is my go-to Pokemon for it. And if it's Dragon Dance, like Tangrowth, it's hurting itself. It's it's going to be taking Energy Ball plus Rocky Helmet damage. It's not going to be able to knock me out with anything. And it's just going to be taking the Rocky Helmet damage. But I definitely want a Choice Scarf Flygon just as that extra insurance versus potentially for Alligator, Dragon Dance, Raikou, or uh, Dragon Dance Scrafty. And last but not least, we have my boy Beatdown. And this is the Pokemon that I was talking about uh, that was really supporting Manaphy. As you can see, I have Toxic. And what Toxic does is if I Toxic my Lodic, because uh, I opted for Toxic over Fusion Bolt since I, there was no EV spread I wanted that allowed me to 2 KO my Lodic, but still take on Pokemon like Gator. Because basically, if I ran Naive or Hasty, Naive means that Raikou can do more damage to me, and Hasty obviously means the Arcanine Extreme Speed for Alligator can all do more damage to me. So... I want a modest and I opted for toxic because that allows me to toxic my Lodic and then just set up sub tail glows on it. Even if it has haze, it's just getting worn down my toxic. Uh, Earth power allows me to hit Arcanine. It hits bronze on because it's terrible, obviously. So I don't care about its levitate. And um, as well as hitting Raikou. And then Ice Beam is just pretty spammable as well. Hitting Togekiss, Breloom. Um, I mean, Earth power is doing a lot to Feraligatr anyway. Get to a kill with uh, Stealth Rock, depending on rolls. But. Um, yeah, also, Ice Beam obviously hitting Trevenant, uh, Smeargle. It does good damage to Scrafty if it's offensive. Uh, it's a 2 KO. And the Roselli and Perugly are pretty much checked right here. That's also why I ran Lumberry. That allows me to switch in on potentially Sleep Powder from Roselia, Spore from Smeargle. Also, Manaphy's faster than Smeargle, so I can sub up on it anyway. Um, and Perugly is obviously also checked by my Tangrowth as well. But we also have Roost because, again, this can be an immediate switching to my Lodic. And I, I can Toxic, I can Roost all depending on its set. Uh, also lets me beat Trevenant. Even if Trevenant, like, burns me or something, I can just Roost all. And Roost also lets me take on 
uh, Raikou better, as well as Togekiss, and that's also why I have a Lumberry. Uh, max speed allows us a speed tie with Ar uh, Adam and Arcanine, which is fine. I didn't want to go more. I wanted to have the most offensive, you know, power that I could. It's crazy how with zero attack investment and zero IVs, um, Kieran Black's attack is almost as strong as his max special attack. But, yeah, this is just so I can take on, um, again, uh, Ice Beam for Togekiss. Even Raikou is not going to be appreciating that. And I'm not too worried about Subcombine on Raikou because, again, um, Aggron phases it. Uh, my my Flagon checks it. It has to come in on something, too. Like, if it comes in on Scald, it can get burnt. It can't come in on Guard Storm. It has to come in on a free switch. Uh, even Aggron's Fire... Uh, like Heavy Stam isn't doing too much, but Fire Punch can sometimes break the sub. And either way, I'm taking Stealth Rock, Fire Punch damage, and I can phase it out with Roar. And then I have, obviously, Fizz in the back to Revenge Kill with the uh, Scarf Earthquake and U-Turn to break subs, depending on some damage uh really let me actually just check this just calc this real quick just so we can know off the top of my head flag on i believe it was fizz yep i know i know you turn does a decent amount to him yeah it breaks the sub 100 percent unless he's running a minimum breaks the sub unless he's running like hp which he definitely could be running but again kieran black doesn't care about that even if he boosts up enough he doesn't beat me with shadow ball or thunderbolt or hp ice with the sub combine it'd be have to be thunderbolt hp ice so you can take on the dragons as well as manaphy um and if that doesn't beat my kieran black 1v1 earth power is doing like way too much whoa 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 whoa, whoa. hold up i'll show you right here kieran black where my boy beat down at yeah, look how much Earth, uh, Earth Power is doing. So Earth Power is doing 65 to 77 um, percent, even if he's at plus one, still doing 43 to 52 percent. So I'm still breaking the sub plus two, still breaking the sub at plus two. Uh, Spadef plus three, still breaking the sub at plus three. Spadef. Basically, Raikou cannot set up enough calm minds on me without dying before. Um, doing anything so I think I'm pretty good with his Raikou and that's pretty much gonna be the team again I brought a more offensive approach versus him I'm unleashed all my dragons versus him mainly because he has those Pokemon like Togekiss and for alligator and I don't want to lose because they can set up on these mods like even sub like sub leftovers gator is something I use versus like Alan Mola in um, in UU at times to set up and I don't want that to happen to me so that's why I brought a more offensive team. But in any case, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys are hyped for this week's match versus uh, the Philadelphia for Alligators. Uh, again, if you want, pick up a drop of Draco hoodie or shirt. Link is down below. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, friends.